You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Yo, 15 Minutes of Fame, man. My man, Guacamole. Uh, yes, I mean, sir. avocado. That's what my movie is made out of avocado. <laughs> yeah, right? it is. Yeah. <laughs> Healthy snack. Is that your name or you just... Uh, avocado? Yeah. I mean, it's just like a nickname. Nickname, okay. Uh, that I was given when I like first started like rapping, embarrassingly enough. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's... It's a, like a long story, and I wish it was interesting, but it's really not. I basically signed up for a message board called rapmusic.com, and that's how I even got into battle rap, really. And I just chose the name Avocado, and that's why everybody calls me Avocado. I kind of wish people would just call me my real name, because I'm not like a rapper, you know? I wish people would just say, hey, Kyle, rather than Avocado. It's so fucking weird, you know? But, yeah, it's a story. It's original. Yeah, it works. <laughs> that's true. Now, now we have the uh, Smack Volume 1. Yes, sir. Just uh, bringing it back to the essence feel of Battle yeah. Rap, man, with the brick wall. Yeah. The shit was crazy. It was a great event. Um, how you felt tonight? I feel really good about it. I mean, like, Smack has never, or URL has never done an event like this, where it's a small room, invite only, so there's no tickets being sold, only for the pay-per-view. So essentially, it was treated a lot like a film shoot. Right, right. And right. To be honest, that's what I wanted to do with the bunker. The bunker initially was that plan, where it was going to be invite only, it's going to be a secret location, never going to sell tickets, it was only going to be for the pay-per-view, but unfortunately I couldn't afford to not sell tickets, so I had to. But yeah, I think this went really, really well. Um, the layout was cool with the graffiti and stuff, it's like a throwback to hip-hop. During the stream I played like 90s hip-hop, like a lot of Mob Deep and Capone and Noriega and shit. And uh, I played a lot of like old smack battles, like Hardy Artie's first versus Mook, um, Rex's, I forget which round it is, versus Umkasa, where he has that old dinosaur scheme and the, the back in the act scheme too. Um, and then a bunch of like old music videos from smack. So I try to give it that like throwback feel, you know? And also, I think this is the first event in a long time that Smack did it in a pit format. And I'm, and I'm a huge pit format fan. Like, I, I think that's the best. Well, that, the, the PGs are like that, though. Aren't they on, like, a little stage, though? No. Nah. They're on, in the pit? Yeah, some of the PGs are, but yeah. a lot of the PGs are just in the pit like that. Word. That just makes sense. Man, I love that. I feel like it has the most intimate feel yes. and captures the crowd, like, from all angles, you know? And so the fucking video work was crazy. Like, I was watching through the camera seeing, oh, man, the shit just looks awesome. Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, like, me and uh, Jeff, we really outdo ourselves every time um, with uh, these events. And we put a lot of R&D into it. Like, a lot of people might not know, but, like, me, like, learning how to do, like, live pay-per-views is, is, like, a fucking four-year progress at this point and long before like I even like tried to do one I just researched it for a while and like through doing them over and over again you just find the right set of tools the right way to approach it unfortunately doing anything technical problems happen and you have to trouble right, right, shoot through them but I feel like right now I have a really good grasp on like how to do a good one and I don't know I just feel like I I like the way my product looks and I'm gonna continue refining it, trying out new stuff, and I just want to make everybody's everybody's brand look good. You know, URL King of the Dot. Like, I want to film every league essentially right. at, at some point. See, that's where we know you from. Uh, you, at, at one point, it was just King of the Dot. Yeah. Like that's what we knew you from doing the paper. Yeah. Dot yeah. fucking footage, ridiculous. Yeah. Now, but were you ever like part of King of the Dot? Uh, I mean, I I kind of was. <clears throat> I wasn't ever like staff, um, but I was throwing events for them. The bunker was for King of the Dot. It was a partnership, and I was I was funding it myself. So, but I've never been staff for any battle rap company in terms of like video director or anything like that. I'm a freelance artist at the end of the day, so it's like. I work with any league, any league that will hire me. I've been wanting to work with URL forever. You know, Smack is like a huge, you know, he's like the fucking icon of battle rap. So, you know, I've been wanting to work with him forever. So it's like, and it's been nothing but a pleasure working with them. So I'm going to continue. See, I've asked you that because um, I'm not going to say there's always, there's usually a lot of back and forth. Like a lot of leagues don't get along. 
Yeah. You know, especially there's always been a little tension between King and the Doc and URL. Yeah. So that's why when I first start seeing you do the URL, so I'm saying, can he do that? Like, yeah. You know, like, when you started doing the URL pay per view, was there any King and the Doc tension? You know, honestly, there was not. They were, like, really supportive about wow, it, you know? Nice. Like, it wasn't. I think they were like a little surprised when they learned about it, but then they were like, yeah, go, you know, get your money up, you know? Like, they weren't like, oh, fuck you, we're working with the enemy, you know? Um, but yeah, they've been super supportive all, like, throughout this whole thing, and you know, they have an event coming up in February, and I'm booked to doing it, so, yeah, there's no hard feelings, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And, um, RBE, did I want to work with RBE really bad, we just haven't done it, essentially, okay. but, I really wanted, I actually wanted to film their Pearly Gates event, but I, I had a wedding to go to, so I couldn't take it off. But uh, yeah, I would love to film with RBE. Um, I would love to, you know, work overseas more, like UK, go to Australia. I want to film in South Africa really bad. There's like a league down there. Um, and yeah, like I just want to- I can wanna, see it happening, man, because yeah. people are seeing your work, and your work is fucking tremendous. Thank so you, man. Like, you know, who wouldn't want to yeah. the film? Yeah, I, I mean, that, it's super flattering to hear that, so thanks. Um, but yeah, I just want to make everybody's shit look good, you know? It's like, this uh, industry that we're all in is like super niche, so it's like, we all help each other at the end of the day. You know, even though there is competition between companies, and that's fair, um, I feel like helping the broad scale of everything will help elevate it to where like, we're actually all making like a good living off of it, you know? So. The difference with you and anybody else that will come in to do pay-per-view, even for the URL, yeah. is that you, you, you've, been, you've been a part of this culture for so long, yeah. you understand how this shit's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. you know, you can bring in Scorsese to <laughs> fucking film it, yeah. but will Scorsese know how to film the film right? Yeah, exactly. You know? And like I said, I was watching some of the footage, and I see the camera moving and shit, you know, it, it's just something different when yeah. you're watching it, and it's still, then when you got a camera actually panning yeah. and moving, yeah. shit looks great. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is like, you know, like I I'm, I, I was a fan first at the end of the day. I was a fan of Battle Rap way before I got into it. So I'm a fan at heart. And um, I'm also an industry professional. I work in film. So it's like I've been doing this for like decades. And uh, my team is as well. They're actually not really fans of Battle Rap, but they, they put up with it. Um, but they're also like, you know, the professionals of their craft. So we put a lot of R&D into like perfecting what looks good. And when we get hired for a job, we're not like, I'm just gonna go do the job. And if it's, you know, not so good, it's whatever. I showed up and like put my eight hours in, I'm bouncing. I wanna like do good. You know, I wanna do a great job every single time. So that, thank you, man, thank you. Now, now, one other thing, when you actually are filming these battles, how much can you enjoy it while you're actually filming? I, I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't mean like you don't like it. I mean like because some dope shit is being said, yeah. but your mind is. No, you know, no, a couple filming. times even today too, like I laughed and the camera shook and I'm like, all right, I can't do that. <laughs> I was like, ah, I was like, oh fuck. And like there was this long time like running joke and when I filmed grind time battles of the avocado laugh. Like I have this like very like unique giggle when I laugh at like battle lines and shit. And you can hear it because I'm right behind the camera. So they would always like fucking roast me for that shit. But yeah, I mean, I react a lot, man. Sometimes it gets a little out of hand if I had had like a couple drinks or something like that. I'll like fist pump and I'm like, all right, it's out of control. But yeah, I still love battle rap, man. So. Man, avocado. You know this guy? No, not at all. Yeah, maybe. Avocado. That's iron. Every time I go on my phone and search for his number as avocado, I have to remember that I don't that I have it saved as his government name because I don't know if you were avocado then. Oh yeah. Know that you were yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. Yeah, yeah that's. Super I literally funny. have have gone to reach out to you at times and been like, "Let me text Avo," and I've been like, "How do I not?" Yeah. Hi. Yeah. You and you and uh, you and Schiller are the only two people that have said my full government name in a battle. Really? Yeah. You and Schiller Jones. And he said it. He said it. He said it in uh, his battle with Conceited. And the thing is, nobody knows my full government name. Wow. So they were just like, "Okay, that's like so." Actually, three people have, and some random. Freestyle British like we did it. But then I said avocado like right. Yeah. No, and you referenced Britain. Right there, there's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that made a lot I of sense. Gray avocado actually yeah. all those words are together. Yeah. I'm gonna make that a bar exam question. He was he came to my house in Brooklyn. He was in my house. Yeah. A long time ago. I lived, I lived there for ten years. Yeah, two thousand eight. I lived there for ten years. Why haven't I been invited to your house? Because <laughs> I don't live there anymore. And we just met. <laughs> we just met? Yeah. I mean our relationship 
is just blossoming. It's kindling. It's, it's kindling right at this moment. <laughs> Yeah. I saw he invited him. himself oh, over in fairness too. But if you come to Philly, you're fucking that time. I Thank appreciate you, man. your time. Thank you. Yeah, 50 minutes of fame. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate oh, man. it. Hell yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame. Radio. Let's go.